Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So here we are building a login system Android application and so far we have already hit our login API. So we have our user interface for login, we got the user inputs and we already hit the login API. Now what we need to do is in case of a success response that means the user is successfully authenticated we need to save the bearer token in our local storage. When I decided to make this course I thought about shared preferences for this thing to store token locally. But recently we got an update that is Jetpack data store. So Android team released this new library and it is meant to replace shared preferences. So I changed my project and I thought that I should use Jetpack data store instead of this shared preferences. So that is what we are going to learn in this video. We will learn this brand new thing Jetpack data store and we will save the auth token that we will get after a successful login using jetpack data store to our local storage so let's see how we can do this in our existing project so this is our project and the first thing that we will need to do is we need to change something in our dependencies basically we need to add jetpack data store and a couple of more libraries so let's see what we will do here so first I will go to app level build.gradle file and here we have added already a lot of things and I think we need to update some libraries so I will do the update. Now currently we have preferences library here that we are not going to use because we will be using the new library that is jetpack data store. So I will remove this library and let's sync our project. Now instead of preferences, I will add Jetpack data store. Now I will paste the required dependencies here. So I will paste the first thing that we pasted as uh, it is the data store preferences. So with data store, we get two options. The first one is preferences where we can save key value pairs. And the next one is data store proto that we are not going to use in this video. So we have added data store preferences and we also added this lifecycle components that is live data and lifecycle runtime. We also need these things. So we have added all the required libraries. Now we can sync our project. Once the sync is done, we will create a new class to manage our data store preferences. So what I will do is I will create one more class here and I think I will create a new package. So I will create a new package and I will name it data. Now inside this data package, I will insert all these three packages that are network, repository and responses. So let's move everything. Now inside this data package, I will create a new class that is called user preferences so i will create a new file named user preferences like this i need to create a class so i will write user preferences like this and to this class i need the context instance so i will define here context of type context now from the help of this context i will get the application context so I will write here private val application context equals to context dot application context. So even when we will pass a context from activity or fragment, we will get the application context here. Now after getting the context, actually the application context, we will create our data store instance. So here I will write private val data store and it is of type data store and we have data store preferences. Now we will create an init block and inside the init block I will initialize the data store instance. 
सो हेयर आई विल राइट डेटा स्टोर इक्वल्स टू एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्सट डॉट क्रिएट डेटा स्टोर एंड टू दिस फंक्शन वी नीड टू पास द नेम फॉर आवर डेटा स्टोर सो हेयर आई विल पास अ सिंपल नेम लेट से माई डेटा स्टोर यू कैन पास एनी स्ट्रिंग हेयर and here we are getting some error this is because i have imported the wrong preferences class here so what i will do is i will delete this preferences import and i will import the correct preferences that is android x data store dot preferences so we will import this preferences and we are done so now we have the data store instance and with the help of this data store instance we can save and retrieve values and as we are using preferences that is data store preferences we can only save the key value pairs here and it is okay for our requirement because here we only need to save the auth token or access token so let's create a function that will save the auth token to our data store so i will create suspend fun save auth token you can name your function anything and to this function we will pass our auth token that we need to save and it is of type string now here we will use the data store instance and we will call the function edit now it will give us preferences and with the help of this preferences we can save our auth token as i already told you that it works with key value pairs so here with preferences data store we can save a value with a respective key so we also need to define a key here so now i will define a companion object here and inside this companion object i will define my key so i will define private val key auth and it is a preferences key for the type i will define string and here we need to pass a name for our key for this key i will pass the name key underscore auth you can pass any name any string you can pass here and we have our key ready we are getting an error and that is cannot inline byte code built with jvm target 1.8 into byte code that is being built with jvm target 1.6 now to fix this thing we need to add some more lines in our app level build.gradle file so i will go to my build.gradle file and here inside the android block i will write compile options and i will define it as java version 1.8 and we will also define kotlin options and that is jvm target equals to java version 1.8 now we will sync our project and you will see that the error is gone now we have the key and using this key we can store our auth token we will simply write here preferences and we will pass the key that is key auth equals to auth token and our token is saved now what we need to do is we need to get back this token and to get back the token i will create a flow because data store work with kotlin coroutines and flows so to retrieve the value we need to use flow so here i will define a val that is my auth token and it is of type flow of type string that is nullable we also need to import flow and make sure you import kotlin x coroutines flow that is very important because we also have other flow classes but in this case we need the coroutines flow so we have the flow of type string here now what i will do is i will define a getter for my flow and inside the getter we will get the saved auth token so what i will do here is i will write data store dot data dot map and inside the map we will get the preferences again and with the help of this preferences we can get the auth token 
so here we will write preferences and then our key because we are saving here key value pairs and to retrieve the value we need to provide the key so here we will provide preferences and then key auth and it will give us the saved auth token back in case no value is saved we will get a null string so we have our user preferences ready and we can use it to save our auth token that we will receive after a successful login and to use this class we will go inside our base fragment and in the base fragment only we will create our preferences instance so what i will do here is i will write protected lead in it where user preferences of type user preferences now we will initialize this user preferences instance inside the on create view function so here we can initialize user preferences equals to user preferences now this is not a good idea because we should use dependency injection for getting the instances but right now i am not using any dependency injection in our project so that is why i am doing like this but later when we will implement the dependency injection in this project we will remove all these things and we will use di for getting the required instances so here we need to pass require context and we have our user preferences instance now i will go to my login fragment and when i will receive a success response i will save the received auth token to my user preferences so here i will remove this toast and i will write here user preferences dot save auth token and we can pass the auth token from our login response so i will write here at dot value dot user dot access token like this and it will save our auth token to our user preferences but we are getting an error because our save auth token function is a suspending function and we need a coroutine scope to call this function and again it is not a good idea to call it directly but for now i am doing it so what i will do is i will use here view life cycle scope actually it is life cycle scope and from the life cycle scope i can call the launch function and inside the launch i will call the save auth token function now our access token is saved and inside our main activity we can check if an access token is already saved that means the user is already logged in so what i will do here is i will right uh, first i will get the preferences here again it is not a good idea but just for now i am doing it so i have user preferences equals to user preferences and i will pass the context as this now from the user preferences i will get the auth token and i will get it as a live data and then i can observe it so this is the owner and then i can have an observer like this and inside the observer i will get the auth token as a string now here i will check uh, for now uh, i think i don't have a home activity so yeah we don't have a home activity for now so just for now i will just display the token as a toast so let's display the toast 
so I have toast so here we will pass this for the text I will pass it and if it is null I will pass token is null and rest of the things are ok now whenever we will run the application we should see a toast displaying our access token but for now it won't go to the login screen because to go to the login screen we need to open the uh, auth activity so we also need to add start activity and we will start the activity using intent so we have intent this and then auth activity class dot java like this so now let's try running the application and see whether our token is getting saved or not so i will run the application so this is our application now let's try login in so i will write my email and the password now let's try login in so we logged in i clicked on login we are not getting anything because I have removed the toast line but let's see after relaunching the application so I will relaunch my application and here you can see we have our access token saved so that is all for this video friends in the next video we will use this access token to determine whether the user is already logged in or not and we will open the screens accordingly but it is already a long video so I am stopping it here and if you need my source code then you can get it from the link that is given on the description of this video and you will also get a link to read more about Jetpack Data Store. So that's all and if you like this video then please hit on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends and i will see you in the next video where we will move ahead with this project so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off